Meat Boy is definitely not back because today I'm going to show you guys how to make banana baby food and I've had this as kind of like a dessert after my meals over the past few months. Unfortunately, even the organic one bought at the store isn't the best. It has chemicals added to it, probably tap water that's full of fluoride and chlorine things you don't want to be eating yourself, let alone a child. And it's very simple. It's a plain base starch. And I've said before, you know, for an actual baby, they should be breastfed between two to four years. But after that, I would view this as acceptable. You know, the mainstream dietary wisdom saying that babies should be weaned at several months, it's completely ridiculous. So keep in mind, I'm not saying that you should feed this to a baby, but it's a delicious snack that has a nice texture and it's not too hard on the stomach. Very simply, the only ingredients are bananas and water. You could add a little bit of salt, you could add some more sweetener, you could even put a small amount of ascorbic acid in it, perhaps some lemon juice, which we might actually do, but it's a very simple base. What gives this the baby food puree is how we blend it up and how we strain it. So you want the bananas to be very ripe, as with the banana bread recipe, how the actual bananas taste, how delicious they are, is how good the end product's gonna be. So we're gonna peel all of these and put them in a pretty large pot. Now I saw this trick a while ago. It's typically easier to peel the banana from the bottom because if you peel it from the top, you know, sometimes the stem breaks off, it breaks off, and then even after you peel it from the top, sometimes you have this little pointy thing left over down here. But if you peel it from the bottom, if you grab this, like that, just a tiny bit easier. Okay, so once you have your bananas peeled, you're good to go. You don't really have to cut them up and I'm just gonna just mash them down a little bit here so that I don't have to put as much water in the pot. Now this is the big difference. You know, we're using a high quality filtered mineral water that has a minimal amount of chemicals, which big companies making baby food don't care about. I would say maybe three cups of water. Then we're gonna pop this on the stove on a low heat. And there's a lot of starch and bananas. They can be cooked at a low temperature for quite some time. So whether you go one, two, three, four hours, I don't think it's gonna matter that much. The point is you wanna cook them at least a little bit, stew them down, reduce the anti-nutrient content, make them easier to digest. Now bananas are very high in potassium. So I'm gonna add a decent amount of salt to this. All right, so the bananas have been stewing for about an hour. So as I'm kind of mashing these bananas, I can tell the texture on the inside isn't as cooked as the outside. So what we'll do is we'll just let this simmer for another hour or so on a very low heat, and then it should be done. All right, we've been going for about two hours. And this looks about right because the color of the baby food in the store after it's pureed is this kind of like pinkish color. So since we can't blend this when it's hot, we'll let it sit for a couple hours. All right, so our banana puree has cooled off overnight and the bananas have absorbed quite a bit of the water uh, that's in the pot. So we might have to add some more while we blend this up. You could use a food processor too. Just make sure it's watertight as this is very liquidy. I'm just gonna use a big soup ladle. Now, as with blending anything, the concern, which a lot of people don't talk about, is oxidizing the food too much. So uh, I would say never blend something over like 20 seconds, especially if it's like an egg or there's cholesterol or something that oxidizes even faster in it. So the texture of the puree is pretty good, but to pass this through a sieve is gonna be pretty difficult. So we're gonna add some water to it. Maybe just like a cup and see what happens. So we're just gonna pour this into our strainer. Now you don't have to do this, but if you want the texture of the store-bought baby food, you're gonna have to. So this isn't that bad, it's coming through very easily. Now if you add in more water, the problem is after you strain it, it's gonna be pretty thin. You could also just strain it with a lot of water and then just cook it some more and evaporate that water. All right, so after you pass it all through the sieve, then underneath, you see there's more. You can scrape this off after you're all done with everything. So I guess we'll try some out even though it's just a banana puree. Mm. 
The taste is a lot better. It's more natural, but the texture, it's not, I would say as good as the store-bought and that's probably because, you know, you might need a finer sieve and this might have to sit for a little bit and absorb more water. But regardless, it's just way better for you than what they're adding to the store-bought version. As we said earlier, the water quality isn't great. They put chemicals in it. And sometimes you can buy a jar of banana baby food or any baby food at the store and you can taste the chemicals or that the water had so many chemicals in it so much that I've actually spit it out before. Like the taste is that prominent. So if you want a healthy thing to feed your kids, if I would say they're three or four years old, I think this is an excellent choice. Great post-workout meal for bodybuilders, super delicious. And you're also saving a bit of money because even this amount that we just did in the bowl, that's probably like $15 of those organic baby food jars. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, check out frank stefancom to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.